Now that you've gotten a good start developing your own content and a good understanding of how content is organized in your Joomla instance, you'll want to clean up some of the sample content, some of that sample data that came with the Joomla instance when you first launched it. This tutorial, the final tutorial in our 16 part series, will show you how to delete any unneeded articles, categories, modules, or any media within the media manager that you don't need in your Joomla site. First, we'll start in our article manager. We have several articles that we published and we're now featuring through different menu items on the page, except this one, the Getting Started article. Now, I could simply unpublish this article. But if I want to permanently delete it, I'd select it here and then click on the trash button in the toolbar. Now that article will disappear from the article manager here, but it's still not permanently gone from our site. We can use our search tools and select our trashed search filter to view our trashed articles. Now we can select the article again and click on the empty trash button in the toolbar. By doing this the article will be completely and permanently removed from the site. We'll return to our regular article manager view by going back to our filter and just selecting select status to view all articles. Next let's go to the category so we can delete any unneeded categories. We developed these three categories for our Joomla instance, but the uncategorized category came with the Joomla instance, so we'll select it and we'll click on the trash button in the toolbar. But just like with our articles, that category is still active in the site. It's trashed, but we can open up our trashed search tool, select the category, and click on the empty trash button. This again permanently removes that category from the site. The next step is to go to Extensions and Module Manager to delete any unneeded modules. We created these four modules throughout the course of this tutorial series. Let's open up the trashed modules using the filter that's now off to the left hand side. We trashed these modules when we first started talking about the module manager. What we want to do is permanently delete them from the site. So let's select all of the modules here and then click on the empty trash button in the toolbar. These modules will now be permanently removed from the site. The last place we'll visit to delete any unneeded content is the media manager. Go to Content and Media Manager and this might be the most important step because when you first launch that Joomla site, there are a lot of images that come with the Joomla site and those are taking up space on your server. This Joomla image is a nice one and by all means keep it if you'd like it or select any images that you don't want. I'm going to select all these Joomla images and then click on the Delete button in the toolbar at the top of the Media Manager those images will be permanently removed. Notice too how you have three folders full of images that you don't need. For instance, we're going to open up the sample data folder. Inside this folder we have two subfolders. Let's open up the fruit shop and we have four images that do take up space. So we'll select all four of these images and click on the delete button in the toolbar. These images are now deleted. We can return to the folder and because the folder is empty we can select the folder and delete it too. We do suggest taking these steps because it can improve the speed and functionality of your site. And we also hope you enjoyed this tutorial series. Thank you for watching these tutorials and thank you for choosing cloudaccess.net.